Watch me see the two fish put you up. They make me viral, man. They make me viral. They not worry about them. Oh God, me tired. Guys, me tired. I know me can't go out. Oh God. Me not age, you know, my body can't manage at all. Share up the live, guys, and tap up the screen. And let the comrades know that I am here. Comrades, good night. Good night. P. Diddy, good night. Yes, Papa, no problem. No, I'm tired so quick. And to double up the minimum wage. My leader, Panya. See, we broke God in Panya. We attend them for the Gaboya. Guys, good night. No, it is already 10.35, late start, but me have to talk about something before. Me now have nothing to talk about tonight, you know, just one little problem I have. Mark Golin, come here. Come here, Marky G. Come here, Marky British. Mark, what a way you love the spotlighty. What a way you love the front page, Mark Golin. Every night you are run for front, every, every day you go to parliament, you want to make the headline. And because you know you have the toilet paper gleaner out of the door, wait for you, 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 you just, you just jumpy. But you love the front. Mark Golden, you know, say you're not really serious about the people of Jamaica. Mm -mm, you're not serious, you know. You just want power. You're thirsty. You're desperate. You just want to do anything for grab and pan power. Because this little gimmickry and this political trip where you come with today, Marky G. We see we remember the Jamaica Labour Party. We see right through it in the Marky G. We see right through it from the get-go because first and foremost, you are a new parliamentarian, Mark Golden, and you are a liar. And you know the law. Look at the little, look at the little arm. Um, Dance for me, dance, make me sweat. No, sir, this serious, guys. No, me, I sweat, so I just do the little dancing. Mm -hmm. It's not right. Oh, my God. I want to go on the phone. I want, comrade, I want, mm. Jesus God. We don't see the top, we don't see the Ali, 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 the, the ring light broke. Look like the comrade don't want me to talk tonight. No, sir. Can you bring up my panel and nobody talk? Is that? Ain't that me as a king? But king, guys. Everybody knows that Mark Golden come with a little gimmickry tonight, today at the parliament. Because Mark Golden know the law. Mark Golden know what the law is about. Mark Golden know say two days before the parliament, he's supposed to send him in, in, in private motion bill to the um to the to the cl the clerk at the at the, at the house so that it can depend the agenda. But because Mark Golden not have no intention. I know serious, I know serious billing come with you know. 
This one my whole come with since the end, you know, guys. And a serious something, you know, is just something to grab the headline. Desperation. Because you know, so the comrade Glena out of do her a weird pandemic to put him on the front page. That's when he come with. Because Mark Wall in a, Mark, Mark in a, a season. Mark Wall in a season politician. Mark Wally know the law. So you, Mark Jefferson Golden, you know so this will come with today is just political gimmickry and game. Anything for state power. You know you're supposed to send that private motion bill to the clerk early so you can properly. But because you're not, you're not interested, you just want to make news. You just wanted to make the news, Mark Wally. Now then one more thing, guys. When Mark will not go with him, him, him bill about um code of conduct. Let me tell you something, Mark Jefferson Golden. You need to bring a code of conduct bill for yourself. Or you can't ask Philip Paul will be table one for you. Because you with your all your in contempt. Because first and foremost, you tell the people of Jamaica that when you came into representational politics, you did not think it was proper for you to continue with your British whatever. And I just last month, me here, you say you'd relinquish your British citizenship. Next thing, you go up on a political platform and you told the people, say, all the dead, you can come vote for you too. That is not parliamentary like behavior. Next thing, couple of years ago, you go out with yourself on the political platform and the Ambush lady tell you say you must apologize. And you see you now apologize. Those were not policy poly, um, member of parliament and um, be proper behavior. So you Mark Jefferson Golden, you need to bring a bill by yourself because you not have no moral authority to be speaking and nothing about no code of conduct. You and Philip Powell and Angela Brownberg, the throne you need to put in one barrel and roll down a river to and dump. We don't have about code of conduct. Eh? You know what code of conduct mean? You might just so go in first of all. You need a you need a bill for yourself because you never come a parliament come do the work of the of the people of Jamaica yet. Every Tuesday or every day you come a parliament, you come in your orange shirt. You never can do the work where the people em, elect you to do. You always come with the political gesturing and bantering and gimmickry. Anything to stay power, you are desperate. You and your 13 cuckoo do go do behind you. The true the world 14 out no make one. You two then when you come with Mark Golden, we 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 did, we saw this coming. We saw this coming, Mark G. That's why we were ready for you. We knew you what you what you were coming with today. It wasn't serious. What are you coming with code of conduct about? What are you coming with code of conduct? You need for you and Philip Paulwell and Angela Brownberg who don't need true you need to go and go read what we are gonna bring to what oh, oh we're more bringing a, a private first of all when PNP was in power under Percival Noel James Pattison, no member of the Jamaica Labour Party couldn't bring no private motion bill to the floor. None at all, no shut them down before we even think about it. But no one in a opposition on a set agenda. Uno in a opposition, Mark Jefferson Golden, and Uno was. Will you, will you hear about Mark Golden? Who voted for Uno for lead country? Who voted for you and the 13 people in the run country, Mark Jefferson Golden? Eh? We are combo no no confidence. We not have no confidence in your Mark Jefferson Golden. We the and based on the blue that poll, the people of Jamaica have no confidence in you. So you need to turn that bill for yourself. You need to go and go read that the bill to yourself and, and, and go and go meditate on it. That bill is that bill is for you. I are 13 and not even 13 of them because a long time you know see Lisa and she did that today, guys. We never know. We are come out here come with no confidence. We the people of Jamaica. We the people of Jamaica and we the member of the Jamaica Labour Party. We have a a hundred percent confidence in Andrew Michael Olness. So you and your bill, you and your motion can go on over, go on over Glina with that. Go on over Glina with that. That is that not even work the paper where you, you put that pan. So you can't go one side with that. You always are coming to political gimmickry. All because you want to make the front page of the Glina. That's all you want in the market, G. You're not serious. You're not serious about this country. You're not serious about the people of Jamaica. You just want state power.
And this trip we try to pull today, it even proved to us, the Jamaican people, say you don't see us. Can you never come to the parliament? First of all, Mark Golden, if you're not left early, you walk out. You never come to parliament and sit down until parliament. First of all, you don't come early. And you don't stay till it's done. Me notice your Mark Jefferson Golden. Anything you come to the parliament, you don't come early and you don't stay till it's finished. And you're always a try to pull some gimmickry. What is wrong with you, Mark Jefferson Golden? What is wrong with you? Are you trying to convince us, the people of Jamaica, that you're serious and you want to become the Prime Minister? We can't take you serious, Mark Golden. We cannot take you serious. You don't have no respect for the Parliament and you have no respect for the people of this country. You can never sit down and, and, and do the work of the people. You're thirsty. You're desperate for state power. You and the PNP desperate to get on your hands on the NIR. That's all you want. Because you know what happened, Marky G? The PNP in the uncharted waters. The PNP don't know what it feel like to be in opposition so long. And because of that, when you guys are grasping at straws. You know what the law Mark Jefferson Golden. You are the main one who loves stand up in the parliament and say, nobody don't know the law like you. And you know the proper parliamentary um, procedure. You know you're supposed to send your motion to the clerk of the, of, the, of the house two days before the parliament. We never do that. Why didn't you do that? If you're serious about this uh, um, no confidence motion, Mark Jefferson Golden, why didn't you prop follow the proper procedure? Why every on the day at the parliament you, 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 you give it to the speaker of the house? What is that all about, Marky G? You serious? You are not serious about the people of this country. You just want to gain state power at all costs. Because you and the PNP uno, 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 uncomfortable. Uno, uncomfortable in an opposition market, G. Uno can't bear to see how the country are run good. Uno can't bear to see how Dr. Tufton a renovate hospital and a renovate health centers and a buy equipment put in at the hospital. You can't bear to see that market, G. You are Angela Brown Burke. Before she go on her constituency, go give the people in her constituency proper drinking water and proper bathroom facilities and proper housing facilities. All the throne of don't look at my parliament. You, Philip Powell and Angela Brown Burke, the throne only come for, for tear down the parliament and put the country in disrepute and shame Jamaica in an international space. That's all the throne do every week. Angela Brownberg, every one of notice, guys, one of notice Angela Brownberg are the spokesperson for every, 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 every ministry. Oh, and if you notice, when Theobald talk, Angela Brownberg asks question. When uh, Pernell Charles Jr. talk, Angela Brownberg asks question. When Green, everybody will stand up and give a presentation. Here comes Angela Brownberg. Have all type of questions to ask. So no more. Nobody has nobody over the opposition side. Now no out. Eh? Who oh, no, don't know what is? Like Angela Brownberg alone, and then she didn't look proper. Not no, no so bad. He should have fixed up herself to come to parliament. It was so bad because Karen Cross said the clothes of Mosheva look like say, and somebody said they're from England here and I bottom of the barrel. And every week, every week, no matter which minister stand up and talk, here comes Angela Brownberg. Oh, minister, I want some clarity. Minister, I want some clarity. She always want clarity. Look from when the people in our constituency, our constituency want some clarity and when they will get a proper um, standard of living. Look from when the people in our constituency want some clarity and when they will get some proper drinking water. Look from when the people in our constituency want to know when they will stop using plastic bags to relieve themselves. Eh? Every week. And you, Mark Jefferson Golden, who is the highest paid politician in the country? You, Mark Jefferson Golden, who have your assets tucked away in BVI from the people of Jamaica. 
You, Mark Jefferson Golden, who told the people of Jamaica that you was advisor to Omar Davis. Omar Davis, who is the orchestrator of the greatest transfer of wealth from the middle class to the rich Tapanaris people and from the poor people to the rich Tapanaris people. And that Omar Davis and Percival Noel James Pattinson and Mark Jefferson Golden, 40,000 people, business people, lost their businesses. Over 5,000 people killed themselves. Over 10,000 people left homeless under Omar Davis. And you, Mark Jefferson Golden, every week you come to the parliament with your political gesturing and your gimmick. You're not serious, Marky G. We can't take your serious, Marky G. I be a grandstanding. Cause look here, you know, guys. As soon as you know getting weird, you know, come in, Mark when it come like some toddler. You know when you have a baby, you pick near your yard, and they ask if you tell her no, and then drop a ground and roll a ground. That is Mark Jefferson Golden. Every week when he come to the parliament and he can't get in way, he walk out of parliament and go and see go and call the dirty toilet paper gleaner or TVJ. Every single work, you are, you are played out, Mark Golden. We know your tricks. Now you can't trick so trick with no more. We know your trick. We know your trick now, because every week you do it. You never come to the parliament with no substance a week time. You don't believe in our policies. All you want to do is just come and make mischief and walk out of parliament or you left early because you start your fake parliament over YouTube. You're not serious. You're not serious, Mark Jefferson Golden. And the, the, I'm going to tell you something, Mark Jefferson Golden. We the Labour right already know who we have voted for. We have voted for the Labour Party. The PNP already know who them have voted for. Yo. But you see the, you see the independent voters, them Mark Golden. You see the people them who don't make up their mind who them have voted for yet. You're not getting no points with them. Because they can't take the gimmicks. They can't take the gimmicks, Mark Golden. They want to see proper procedure. They want to see policies and they want to hear about what are you going to do differently from Andrew Michael Owens. That is what the independent voters are asking you. They want to stop come a parliament, come roll a ground like you're picking when you don't get lollipop. They want to stop it. The independent voters, Mark Jefferson Golden, are asking more from you. Stop it. Take out your orange shirt when you come into the parliament and act with more decorum and more principle and more class. Hey, guys, the People's National Party gone to the dogs and the Mark Jefferson Golden, you know? Because as bad as thing may be, PJ Patterson, yes, we know we're saying corrupt. Yes, we know we sell every damn thing down to the, down to the, down to the sea or to Pedro Keys. We know already. What if I want thing with P PJ Patterson? You can't with me can't criticize him and a lot of things. But one thing with him, he was an elder statesman. One thing with PJ Percival Noel James Patterson, that man of class. Yes, we know when do all of the things a man in bankrupt the country, my Omar Davis. We know that, but we can't separate, we can't put it in a context. That man, PJ Patterson, had class. And even Peter Phillips, elder statesman, that man had class. Now to Portia, as much as you used to have to write everything with Portia have to say pan paper give her and if the paper blow away, she don't remember where she have to say that Portia did have a little more dec a little more decorum. But Mark Jefferson Golden have nothing. He not have no standard, no class, nothing about him must scrape the bottom of the barrel. In me, Marky G, we can't act with decency when you come to the parliament. Every week you come to parliament with the same old story and the same old game. You know that private motion bill. First of all, what do you want to debate, really? What do you want to debate in that bill? Because first of all, as I told you earlier, Marky G, you cannot say the Prime Minister of Jamaica lied to the people of Jamaica because there is no evidence of that. So what are you planning to debate? What what the reason for that for that private motion I, I'm building on? We are come with. And secondly, we don't have the vote. We don't, don't have the vote, Marky G. 14 people can't can, can put bill through. So you just want to create chaos and confusion. As Pernell Charles Jr. said, just 
chaos and confusion and headline for the toilet paper gleaner and the fake news and the fake news TVJ, a.k.a. Fox News. That's all you wanted to do. Can we, we all go with a private motion build up, Mark Bolin. Seriously, where are you going with that? Hmm? Because as far as we know how the parliament work, you don't have the majority. So that was waste of time. That's garbage. That's garbage, Marky G. Every week you come with the same nonsense. When you're going to stop it, Mark Golin, when are you going to stop it and be able to look at the quorum and look at class? Eh? Now, as I told you before, Mark Golin, the PNP people don't expect much from you, you know, because they like what you do. But you see the middle class of this country and the independent voters, I am telling you, Mark Golden, and based on the blue that poll, you need to pivot. You need to pivot because you're not going good. You're not going good. Yeah, Bridget, me have got to tell him to tap up the screen. But you may I hurt me and me can't even see how much we reach. When I reach 20k, guys, tap up the screen. I'm gonna turn you that one over here, you know. You, every week you come with the same thing, Marky G. Eh? No, guys. Now that me done with Mark Jefferson Golden, the highest paid politician in the country. Labour rights. What a way with Prime Minister Dr. Olness. Drop it on the non-integrity commission today. Eh? What a way our Prime Minister, the most honorable Dr. Michael Olness, drop it on the integrity, the non-integrity commission today, led by Comrade Seymour Pantan, Kevin Stevens, and the other one, the way one name. Eh? Yeah, man, a full time. Full time, but not, not before the time. I mean, trust the process with the Prime Minister. But, guys, while we are happy that the Prime Minister is taking this route, I want to caution you, Labour rights. I want to remind you of something. I want to remember that the judiciary is filled with PNP people. <laughs> Guys, remember that the judiciary is filled with PNP people. So if you're not mind sharp, this will go all the way to the Privy Council, in my opinion. Because remember, Alun Asamba say she makes sure full the committee with PNP people because they have an agenda. And them, their agenda is to stay in power at all, whatever it takes. You have a right. Me a caution, no, no. While we are happy that the Prime Minister is taking a stand, a stand up for himself. Because from the day one, Emily, um, Madam Emily Shields said it. She said this needs to be reviewed because this is not right. Emily Shields said it. Emily Shields said it. She said the Integrity Commission not have no right to put the Prime Minister business out like that. She said it. I had a well-thinking Jamaican said it. All right, guys, what you want me proof to, you know, you know, you know, follow me now. You know what I know said it? I see you know, the pan good standing. You know, you, you know, notice you know, you're your gun for your book from PJ Pattison. Where is PJ Pattison in all of this? Where is PJ Pattison? Where is you, Small? Where is Libby Smith? Where is you, where is you, wild man? Those know it all lawyers. Uno notice how they quiet. In guys? In guys? Uno notice how they know it all liar, they quiet. Eh? Uno think a line, uno notice how they know it all PNP lawyers are quiet. You don't know why they're quiet? Because they cannot defend the action of the non-integrity commission. They shame. They shame. That is why they're so quiet. Because they, 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 they don't know how to defend the work of the integrity commission led by Comrade Seymour Justice Pantan. They shame because, guys, normally when you have anything about the law in the country, you wild man run out already. Who tell me if I lie me and tell in the chat, guys? Tell me if I lie me and tell. Normally, 
When you have anything to do with anything about law and anything about the IC or anything about anything, you wild man are the first one around come out to interpret the law. You wild man, like Barnett. I will not hear gun fire from them. We will not hear gun fire from them because they see them. They see them. They don't know how to come out and support this non-integrity commission led by one Justice Seymour Comrade Pantan. Because they know so they break the law. They know so they break the law. So guys, while we are happy that our Prime Minister is taking this route, and while we are happy that our Prime Minister is standing up for himself, I want to caution you labor rights. I'm going to remind you know, that the justice system is filled, up, is filled up with PNP people and PNP judges. All right? So if you don't mind sharp, all of this may have to go to the Privy Council.